What is poppin' guys? You got your coach of the Chim Chargers here for our week seven team analysis for the GBA. This time I'm gonna be taking on Tom, coach of the San Jose Sharpedos, and he is a team of uh, Celestila, Thunderstarian, Nidoqueen, Vaporeon, Porygon 2, Azelf, Hitmonlee, Zygar 10%, Darmanitan, Shift Tree, and a Gardevoir. The list should appear to you right momentarily. Now looking at his team, he's packing some threats for sure. I mean, he's got Celestila, which he can bring potentially offensive, uh, offensive Celestila set, which can be a little bit problematic. He also has Thunder Asterion, which is a pretty big threat. So we gotta be able to deal with this. Another electric type Pokemon we gotta deal with here. And um, I mean, I think he'll bring probably both his first two Pokemon, which are Celesteel and Thunderous, because of the fact that his Thunderous, because it is a Therian form, it has Volt Absorb. So it, it pairs really well with Celesteela being able to take the electric weakness that it has. So that's pretty nice on his, uh, on his end there. I'm thinking that he'll bring one of his two ground type Pokemon, either Nidoqueen or his Zygarde 10%, because he will he might want a way to, I guess, check Magnezone. Even though Thunders can do it, I feel like a ground type on his end could potentially come our way. As well as, um, I feel like he's going to probably try to prepare for our rain. So I'm not going to be bringing rain this week because he has Pokemon such as Vaporeon, which has Water Absorb. Very, very nice check to certain Pokemon that we have on our team, like Water types that we have, Kingdra as well as even Kabutops, you can check that pretty well. And he also has Pokemon like with Trace, Gardevoir, Trace Gardevoir, which I'm thinking he'll probably bring Gardevoir and that can Trace Swift Swim, that can be really annoying, so I don't wanna bring that. It's a very annoying Pokemon that Rain has to deal with. So as well as um, Porygon 2 is a sponge, it is li a literal sponge, really, really solid wall on his end. So he's, he's, got, he's packing the Trace team, he's got the Porygon, too. He's got the uh, Gardevoir with the Trace, so I definitely don't want to bring Rain versus this kind of team. So I figured that, I mean, he's definitely going to bring his Celesteela, his Thunderous. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring one of his ground types. He'll probably bring Gardevoir and Porygon and Vaporeon. So that's pretty much what I'm guessing right there. Um, another Pokemon, okay, so he has a Z Crystal, which is a Zelf. I don't really see him bringing it to this match. Um, I don't really expect to see both Azelf and Gardevoir. I think Gardevoir is more likely to come, but if we do see Azelf, then I don't think we'll see Gardevoir. Um, we'll see though, uh, for sure. I'm really thinking that uh, he'll bring those Pokemon, those six Pokemon, um, but we'll see what happens here. So let's just go over the team that I have here that I've prepared for uh, this this uh, matchup here, this fierce battle. So let's take a look at this here. So uh, the first Pokemon I got is a Pokemon that I felt would do well versus the majority of his team, and that is going to be Swords Dance Verizion. Take a look at this, right? We have SD3 attacks. We got the Stone Edge, Leaf Blade, Close Combat. Now, let's think about this. If we SD up, you know, we're getting a nice plus two attack. Close Combat is going to be hitting Pokemon really hard, such as Celesteela, Porygon. Um, it'll hit, what else? Shiftry pretty well. It'll hit Darmanitan. We're faster than that unless he's Scarfed. Um, yeah, even like, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Leaf Blade hits Pokemon such as Nidoqueen really hard. Um, once we weaken that, like we can clean up with um, versus Nidoqueen hits Vaporeon mainly. This thing can destroy Vaporeon with a Lumberry, so we don't get Scald Burned. And um, yeah, as well as even Gardevoir plus two Swords Dance. Gardevoir is not going to appreciate that. So and plus we have Stone Edge here in order to hit and check the Thunder Therian, which will resist both the Leaf Blade and the Close Combat. So I feel like overall. This set puts in a ton of work versus his team, and if we're able to get up an SD at some point in the game where we can get rid of the faster threats, I feel like this thing can really win because fa the fastest Pokemon on his team is going to be any Choice Scarf user that you know he brings or his Zygarde or his Azelf, and those Pokemon are pretty frail, so we can get rid of those pretty easily, I think. So I, I decided to lead off, you know, or not lead off, but like start off this team building session with a tech support Verzion. So we have this Pokemon here. The next one we got is going to be Empoleon. So I wanted to bring a set that can, you know, just kill two birds with one stone, set up rocks. <laughs> nice pun there. Set up rocks and also get rid of, um, uh, get rid of the uh, rocks or any kind of hazards on our side with Defog. That's going to be very important because of the fact that I am packing a Pokemon in the back that is weak to rocks. I'm sure you all know what it is, but um, this is a very defensive spread here. So the set that I got with Wakanberry, it's able to eat up a plus two Thunder uh, a nasty plotted Thunder uh, is Thunderbolt. So we're able to eat that up with the Wakanberry. It puts us in our torrent range, so we're able to hit that thing much harder. So I'm hoping that comes into play at some point. I'm expecting um, this thing to be able to check uh, Thunderous as well as just being able to 
get off an emergency defog on it if we have to, or get up rocks. So this thing is really, really crucial because his two forms of hazard control, looking at it right now, are Hitmonlee and Shiftry. <laughs> That's literally it. He has two forms of hazard control in Hitmonlee and Shiftry. They're not the best out there. So um, he'll either bring hazard control or he'll probably just skip bringing hazard control. And I'm thinking he'll not bring hazard control. He could potentially bring Shiftry. I could see that happening, but um, we are able to wall it with our Verizion and we have other Pokemon that can deal with it too. So we do have Empoleon here, which I felt was really nice. Now, the third Pokemon I have here, I'm not sure if you got, if, if you all are aware or not, but I did make a trade. I traded away Meloetta for uh, Cresselia. The reason was because I found myself, whenever I wanted to bring Meloetta, I found that Alakazam was just a better option. Because if I wanted to bring regular Meloetta, I found Alakazam was just much faster, being able to, like I guess, just do a lot more in general. And then the times that I wanted to bring Pirouette uh, Meloetta, I'm like, okay, well, I have a Verizion, so... I, I'm pretty sure I don't need to have to like, I don't want to have to go for a relic song just to get into a fighting form so like the times that I wanted to bring I guess either of those options on Meloetta I just had a better option in general so I just traded it away for Cresselia which gives me new things it gives me firstly a bulkier Pokemon it gives me a Levitator a Pokemon that can switch into a ground type attack like for example Mamoswine and not be weak to ice so that's really cool and I think I mean it's explained in the video but I'm pretty sure I'm explaining it better <laughs> um, in, in uh, the uh, GBA trade video or whatever that happened. But yeah, I have Cresselia. So this Pokemon here is just so nice because it's able to firstly tank hits. It tanks hits really, really well. Secondly, it is a very dangerous Calm Mind user. So um, this thing, it's fast enough to outrun his base 80 Pokemon like Gardevoir Shiftry. It's able to sub on that or on either of those, maybe like a Sucker Punch or like anything like that. It can sub really well on pokemon it's even faster than nidoqueen i think or actually i don't know if it's faster than nidoqueen um but yeah it's faster than uh gardevoir shiftry like a bulky nidoqueen it's gonna be faster than um is this thing is so cool it can sub on vaporeon sub on uh I, I mean vaporeon might have roar but it can also sub on porygon porygon can't break this thing sub at all and um celestila i think if we intimidate it with our lando that we have back there it cannot break our sub with heavy slam so i think this thing is really cool sub uh calm mind with side shock and ice beam so it just hits everything on his team really hard if we set up combine this thing is literally a great win condition versus him look, like take a look at this scene like he doesn't really have much for a sub combine Cresselia other than roaring and phasing it out he can't talk he can't status us or with, to with toxic or anything because we have sub fast subs and stuff so that's gonna be fun to see how that works out I am excited to show you all the power of Cresselia in my hands <laughs> now the last three Pokemon we got here uh, by the way the nickname <laughs> the nickname is Crescent Peace <laughs> I thought I was clever with that, but uh, yeah, anyways, let me know. We got here uh, the last three Pokemon. So we got Muck, Alolan Muck coming back once again uh, to showcase himself with the Figgy Berry. Uh, nothing really too new here other than the Eevee spread. So I'm, I'm just coming out. I'm just pumping out with these Eevee spreads here. We got a nice uh, 132 speed Muck. And the reason is because I want to be faster than Vaporeon. Want to be able to get the nice fast taunt off on stuff like Vaporeon, Porygon, and shut them down from wish passing or just going for recover. I think this is going to be really useful in terms of uh, setting up in the end, maybe stopping a roar, stopping him from going for roar on Vaporeon if we can set up with Cresselia later on. So I think um, Muck is really great here in order to do that kind of stuff as well as knock off things. Pursuit, amazing for Azelf as well as Gardevoir and other stuff like that. So And knocking off getting rid of items and it's just a great set. Figgy Berry of course, nothing too new from what you guys have seen. Just the Eevee spread, like the Eevee spread really kind of determines what I'm trying to go for. And I guess like the third or fourth move slot. So it, it's really cool to just switch it up each week. Now we got here a Landotherian, which I just decided to run a Scarf set. Um, we're going to be faster than like Scarf Dimanitan. And, uh, no, we're not faster than Scarf Dimanitan. We're faster than, um, we're faster than Scarf. Uh, what did I set this thing for? 146. Yeah, I think we're faster than like Scarf Nidoqueen. Guard of, Scarf Gardevoir, yeah. Scarf Gardevoir especially. So stuff like that. Um, we're faster than with this thing. And we just got like Earthquake, Stone Edge, U-Turn. So Earthquake hits like a lot of stuff. Stone Edge hits Thunderous. Uh, U-Turn from Momentum. Explosion I thought would be pretty fun to run. Especially since um, he's got a lot of bulky walls on his team. So maybe as like a last, a last ditch effort we can boom, explode and try to knock something out. Or if something gets out of hand we can get rid of that in that way. So it should be pretty fun. I do expect myself to use Explosion at least once. <laughs> I want to do that. If not this week, then another week, but we'll see. Um, anyways, we also got here, uh, final Pokemon, we got Night Knight, the Dragonite, with uh, just a standard Dragon Dance 3 attacks with Flanium Z. Hits a lot of things on his team. Is able to Oko Vaporeon um, at plus one with the Z Crystal. Z Crystals changed the game. Like, I'm telling you right now, Z Crystals 
they're, they're literally changing the game. Um, this set is really, really nice, um, especially since it just, it puts in so much work here. And plus one, we're literally faster than like everything on his team. So uh, we got also, yeah, we got like Fly, Z Fly, Thunder Punch in order for us to hit Celesteela Vaporeon and um, E Speed for priority versus Pokemon like Thunderous, Zygarde, Hitmonlee as Zelf, any, anything that he tries to bring. So we're, we're pretty prepared for everything on his team. Um, looking at his team right now, I don't really see any sort of big holes that we have to go up against. Um, I guess, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. Like, like Cresselia is just so nice to have on the team alongside Alakazam because sometimes I can decide to go more aggressive. I can bring Alakazam as a check and just a, a, a great Pokemon that can hit hard, hit fast. Other times, you know, I can bring Cresselia, which is a more reliable switch in and it poses more problems. Like Cresselia has the bulk to set up. Alakazam has the speed and the power to just do like damage and that, that in that way i feel like it's going to contribute a lot more to the team than meloetta which also kind of does the same as alakazam in terms of hitting hard so that's going to be the team for this week hope you all enjoyed let me know what you guys think of course i'm excited to try it out and see how it goes i think uh, in our hands Cresselia can be a very powerful weapon and we'll see what we can do with it so that's going to be it for me battle going up tomorrow 24 hours from this video and um yep hope you all are excited and i will see you guys then peace